Happy Friday, those of you working for the weekend. We appreciate you starting your day with us here on First Takes. Skip Bayless, Molly Karam here in CT. Stephen A. joins us from L.A. Good morning, gentlemen. Oh, uh, Happy Friday. What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing? What's going on, big boy? Uh, I'm just happy to see that you're back to yourself. I know you're a little under the weather yesterday, which required me to take it a little easier on you than I usually do. So today actually, we're back at full throttle. Fair game, big man. Actually, actually, I wasn't feeling I wasn't feeling great yesterday, and I saw you try to take advantage of me, oh, not oh, take it light on me. Oh. So I remember that low blow that you oh. exercised for two hours. And now you're in trouble today oh, because oh. you tried to take advantage of a wounded wolf. Really? That was a mistake. Wounded wolf. That was a I, mistake. I just a wounded remember, lion. I apologize. Yeah, Not a wolf. Lion. A lion. I, I think it's more of a wolf, actually. I, I think I, it's I'll a lion. A wolf. Yeah. All right. Uh, all, all I right. remember is that somebody tried to kill the clock in the second hour by oh. talking and talking and talking, <laughs> and and it was you played keep away brilliantly. Hey, Skip, I, I give you that. Talking I, about I, me. No. I have something to say, Skip Bayless. This is gonna shock you. First of all, Molly, you look lovely, Thank nice you. and somber. Thank Skip, you. I got this to say to you. Nice and somber. I'm shocked. You look pretty good today. You trying to admit. set me up for the kill, Mr. <laughs> lion? A young lion over there, that's yeah. Stephen A. Yeah. The jacket is sweet. Thank you. Appreciate that. It is nice. Next it question. is nice. It's a rarity, but it's nice. <laughs> Are you gentlemen ready to work on this Friday? We're, we always ready. We're Let's always ready. roll. Coming up, forget Drake and Meek Mill, the new beef, Floyd Mayweather and Ronda Rousey. Shots fired and the counter punches keep coming. We'll break all that down. Des Bryant on the cover of Rolling Stone, rock star status for the stud White. How's he going to handle those bright lights, though? We'll dive into that next, but we kick things off in Naptown, where earlier this month, Frank Gore told the NFL's Nate Burleson that Luck is a different breed who runs the huddle like no other quarterback he's seen during his 10 years in the Bay. Gore reiterated his comments on Wednesday, telling the Jim Rome show the following. He runs meetings like a coach. Basically, I'm playing with a coordinator on the field. He's a football god. He sees everything. He sees the big picture of everything. Let me know when he sees something I don't see. He's just different. How he's in the huddle, off the field, in the meetings, he runs it. He runs the show. Even in the offseason, he ran it. One day he had running backs, the next day he had receivers. He's just different. He's a football god. Skip Bayless, did you hear him? A wait, wait, say god. that again. Football god? Yes. Can he Woof. live up to those expectations? I got to repeat that for you. <laughs> Please. Mr. Lyon. Football God says Frank Gore of Andrew Luck to answer Molly's question. I, I sure hope he can live up to being a football God in his fourth year in the National Football League. But he sure hasn't so far. And I got to tell you up front, Stephen A. Smith, I'm starting to feel sorry for your man, Andrew Luck, because I'm not sure anybody can live up to football God, including Joe Montana, or John Elway, or Roger Staubach. Football God, the NFL world has gone completely overboard over Andrew Luck. And it's not fair to this still young man. I have joked on this show, I've, I've made it my pet peeve about the premature coronation of Andrew Luck. And the, the half joke is that he's the first quarterback ever who's qualified for early enshrinement in the Hall of Fame. I, I joke that we should just stop down on this show and go ahead and induct him. Maybe you could give his induction speech. Maybe we could borrow Jerome Bettis's new Hall That'd of Fame jacket tremendous. and put it on a bust of Andrew Luck right here in the studio because it feels like he deserves that. And you know, maybe Frank Gore can help him achieve football god status, but do I need to remind everyone Frank Gore is 32 years of age now entering his 11th season in the National Football League, and his combined touches of the football carries and catches over those 10 years, 2,784 times he's run and gotten hit. Wow, that, that's, that's a lot. Is, is he down to his last year in the league? I don't know if he can help Andrew Luck, but good luck with that, Mr. Luck. And do I need to remind you, Stephen A., I hate to keep spewing out these stats, but I think I'm the only one in the known world who cares about or even notices these stats. Andrew Luck, when the money is on the line in the postseason, is three and three. He has thrown in the postseason nine touchdowns to mm -hmm. 12 interceptions. 
Mm. His QBR against the New England Patriots, albeit in Foxborough in the AFC Championship game, just last year, the Deflategate game, was 26.4 on a scale of 0 to 100. 26.4 by the football god. As a rookie, he combined turnovers, both interceptions and fumbles. He was second only to Mr. Butt Fumble, Mark Sanchez. Last year, just last year, he was second in combined turnovers in the National Football League to your favorite quarterback, Jay Cutler. Football God and then football outsiders the other day, God bless them for pointing out the fact that over the three years that Andrew Luck has played, he has 43 total interceptions and that he could have had many more because so many were dropped. I'm sorry, but I, he's not living up to football God yet. And I, for one, and I'm probably the only one, can't see how he'll ever quite live up to being a football god. Your defense, please. Well, first of all, uh, your argument is pathetic because, once again, here you go with the same old stats you regurgitate oh, the, time the and time right ones? and time again. What did I tell you about interrupting me when I start oh. off my soliloquies? What did I tell you about that? Well, it's Friday. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. You yeah. Calm down. Calm yeah. down with what you tried to sit mm -hmm. up there and mess with me yesterday when you knew I was sick. I ain't sick today. I'm not taking it, okay? Listen and listen good. This is the same Andrew Luck who's just 25 years of age. This is the same Andrew Luck who, year after year, has improved. This is the same same Andrew Luck that went from a wild card game to a divisional playoff game to an AFC mm. championship game. This is the same Andrew Luck, by the way, who threw for nearly 5,000 yards last year, who led the league with 40 touchdowns and just 16 interceptions, Skip Bayless, okay? I understand the QBR wasn't sensational, but 63 is slightly above average. 65 was his QBR in his first year. The dude is no joke, and we're remembering. When people pro talk about Andrew Luck, it's about projection. It's not about where he's at. For a guy in his third year in the league, with the size, with the arm, with those tree trunks for legs, with his durability, reliability, the fact that he was sacked 100 times in those three years and still continues to do what he has been doing, to be the leader, to be zeroed in, locked in, completely focused on the game of football, not distracted by his quote-unquote brand, not distracted by endorsement deals, commercials, and the like, all this brother cares about is trying to win football games. He's locked in, he's zeroed in, and he's the perfect quintessential successor to somebody like Peyton Manning. Because the things that Frank Gore elocuted are exactly the kind of things that they were saying about Peyton Manning, even when he was younger. He's in the film room, he's constantly working on his game, he's, you know, he's cerebral, his football IQ is off the charts, he's this, he's that. They were saying those things about Peyton Manning as well. You didn't have any problem with it then. I know why you got a problem with it now. Now let's get to Frank Gore's specific statements about Andrew Luck. Not just talking about his due diligence, putting forth the work, being on his grind, okay? But when he sits there and says, in my 10 years, he also said these operative words, Skip, that I've seen. Well, what has Frank Gore seen? He arrived in San Francisco in 2005. Let's go through the quarterbacks that he played with since 2005, Skip Bayless, because you conveniently let that out. Alex Smith his first year. Alex Smith his second year. Trent Dilfer in 2007. Sean Hill in 2008. Alex Smith in 2009 and 2010 and 2011. And then Kaepernick 12, 13, 14. So bottom line is simple. Even though Cal, uh, Colin Cap, uh, I'm sorry, uh, you know, uh, yeah, Colin Kaepernick, mm -hmm. I mean, even though we know that he's mercurial and he's a playmaker, we know that Alex Smith is the quintessential game manager. We know that Trent Dilfer won a Super Bowl, but primarily due to that defense in Baltimore. And I love me some Trent, especially as an analyst here at this network, but that's just the truth. It was the defense that carried the Baltimore Ravens, and everybody knows that. When you look at it from that perspective, along with Sean Hill, the reality of the situation is Frank Gore articulated what he's seen and what he has played with. That's what he has seen. He ain't seen anybody like Andrew Luck because no, no disrespect to any of those guys that I mentioned, but none of them are Andrew Luck. That's just the reality. And Andrew Luck is 25 years of age with a legitimate 13 to 15 years left in his career. And already he has done what he has done. So I'm just saying the upside is what you project. 
course we don't like the fact that the brother threw nine touchdowns and 12 interceptions in the postseason and you know and, and he had, he put them in a position to lose before they came back and beat Kansas City and it got ramrodded in the playoffs against Tom Brady and the New England Patriots boy what a big shame there is in that for him to be such a Pretty young quarterback a and to get guy. stopped by Bill Belichick Tom Brady and the New England Patriots mm -hmm. but in the end what is undoubtedly true is the fact that this dude's upside, considering his youth and what he has already accomplished and the abilities he already possesses, which is unquestionable. There is no reason. I wouldn't say a God. So that is definitely an engagement in a hyperbole. <laughs> I but I can understand. I can understand where Frank Gore is coming from, considering who he has played with in his 10 year career. OK, you're going so quickly. I this might have sort of slipped through my ears, but did you call Kaepernick a game manager? Is that what you said? No. No. No, I said Alex Smith's Alex a game Smith's manager. Game man. okay, I said okay. Colin Kaepernick is mercurial. Oh. He's a playmaker, but not a passer extraordinaire. Well, He's I, not that. I don't know if Frank has forgotten, but Colin Kaepernick did throw and run that San Francisco team all the way whoa, to whoa, the whoa. Super Bowl, right? But nobody's saying he couldn't throw. Nobody's saying he couldn't throw, but we all understand that Colin Kaepernick's strength uh, with his legs and playmaking ability. He isn't the most accurate pass in the world. He's no scrub by any stretch. The brother can play, but that does not mean that he is an elite pocket passer. Okay. That's not the strength of his game, and you know it. Okay, but if I'm Kaepernick, and if I'm Alex Smith, who's proven to be a pretty good long-term quarterback in this league, yes, that's true. Andy Reid likes him, he sticks with him, I would, need be, to get him some help. I would be offended by this comment because by default it, it's it's very disrespectful to both those quarterbacks to go that far uh, overboard about Andrew Luck when you no. haven't even played one game with him yet not I, one game I, I will say this I will say this to you you can look at it as disrespectful or you can look at the words football god and recognize that he just believes Andrew Luck to be on a significantly elevated level against quarterbacks period it's not like he said Colin Kaepernick can't play, Alex Smith can't play, the Trent Dilfer, Sean Hills of the world, and others can't play. He's just saying that Andrew Luck is special. And I believe Andrew Luck is special. I think that Colin Kaepernick is a special talent. I think Andrew Luck is a special quarterback. Okay, but you keep giving me upside. Look at the upside. And I care about the done side. Like, what have you done for me lately or done for me at all? And all I know is the last game I saw, his QBR was 26.4 on a scale of 100. Well, that, that's not godlike to me. Well, so, well I, I, I agree with you. It's not godlike. You're accurate about that. But again, you're thinking the done side. I like those words, by the way, the done side. I'm thinking about the upside. Yeah. So that's the only discrepancy that exists between us there. But let's keep in mind, Skip Bayless, that you're the same individual that doesn't look at the done side at your discretion. Arbitrarily, you might look at the upside. You might look at an RG3's upside. You like, might Rookie look at a Johnny year? Menzel's upside you might look at individuals and their upside but you know it's a, it took you a long long time to come over to the right side when it came to jay cutler you were you were you were you were holding it down why because you were looking at the upside because the done side there was nothing getting no, done so I, you weren't sitting there just saying it then i was looking at the vanderbilt side if you want to know the yeah, truth oh, wait, that's wait, what wait, i was uh, doing uh, i was i can't uh, help it i can't help uh, it uh, yeah. Uh, really? Yeah. You can't help it? Yeah, can't you help hold it. it. You I actually can't. went there as opposed to just you, spoke hold it, hold it, hold there. Hold I went there. Oh, I graduated you could help with it. honors. You could help it. You could help it when it came to Sam Bradford coming out of Oklahoma. I you never liked him. You, you I, I'm more oh, objective oh, about Oklahoma. So you didn't I grew like up him. watching him. So you didn't like him. I told so you before the draft, I never liked him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You didn't like him. He's a straw man in the pocket. I'm not buying. Hold on. He was successful at Oklahoma. Yeah, I saw he lost to Tebow side. in the big game that really that, mattered. That, that was, what have that you done for me? You didn't side. do that. Yep. That wasn't the done side. You looked at the upside. No, but I But you didn't. pick and choose. This is, hold on. I didn't look this at the is upside. The, no. This is the brilliance of Skip Bayless. No. This is the, see, what you, know, you do is you throw it out there and then somebody got to remember stuff mm -hmm. to catch you. And see, by the way, you leave out the facts. You know, this I, is what you do. I actually, just for your benefit, because I didn't want to pile on poor Andrew Luck today when we're heaping so much hype on him that he's right, not going right, to be able to right, live up to. Right. But speaking of Mr. Tebow, 
If you look at the completion percentages oh, of one Andrew Locke, look at his completion percentages. Is they're that where we're going? They <laughs> are. That you would tell me they're too So, 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 so we're going to go the route. So we're going to go the route of Tim Tebow. No, I'm just and, saying. And compare, you know, and, and we're going to compare him to Andrew Luck. That's look what we're doing. We're comparing yeah. Tim Tebow to Andrew Luck. That's Pers what we're doing. Com completion we're percentage, doing. I'll compare him. Yeah. But we don't have time for that, gentlemen. You know what I wish we had, though? You something else. You want something else. For this full case study mm. i wish frank gore had played with a manning or a brady and i'd like to know if he would be as impressed with luck but we we won't know that i doubt he would be guys according Good to point. to yep. cbs Good sports point. prediction ma machine in case either of you care they have the packers beating the colts 31 to 28 in super bowl 50 without jordy nelson so there's that little okay. nugget for was you was it without jordy nelson without because oh, they said okay. after they okay they did it, it again all right mm -hmm.